Hello, hello. All right, guys. Um, it's Friday. It's a late Friday. It's been a busy day. Um, once again this week, uh, did go to multiple stores. The, my local Walmart got uh, I ended up getting one UFC, uh, Blaster Chronicles, and I got four of these Mega Boxes, and that wasn't enough for me. <laughs> so, uh, literally, they had only got six Mega Boxes at my local Walmart, and that was the first time they actually got them at my local store like last week i had to go somewhere else and get them and two guys other guys wanted took one apiece and i took the other four so once again i took trotted my happy ass right down the road and um waited forever for the restock but we knew the lady was there she was gonna get it done she did eventually at like we waited there from like 10 till almost one yeah, crazy. I know. What a psycho. Um, but that store hadn't got any optic basketball yet. And we kind of like was thinking that this that was the same store I hit the Bowman at the week before. We was kind of thinking, okay, you know what? There's going to be optic today. Which there was, but it was only a blaster. It was one mega. Another guy got it. He was first. I was second. And I got like four blasters of optic basketball. But I'm going to sell those anyway. I'm not opening that. But I just wanted really one of these. And they got like 10 or 12 of these. Somebody took one apiece, but I end up with total for the day is 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I end up with 14 of these things today. Right here I got uh I got in a break for uh Bowman Chrome off of eBay, obviously. And one thing I don't like about this, I freaking hate it. And if you sell on eBay, leave a message as to why this gets done because I sell on eBay as well. And I don't do shit like this. If you're going to pay first class package, okay, put it in a damn box. All right. There's two cards in here that are, that should be worth around 50 bucks a piece. You know, and I don't know how you pack them inside. It may be great, but put them in a I don't understand that. I don't, I don't, yeah, I, it frustrates the hell out of me. Why some, why are you going to cheap out like that and use a damn bubble mailer? And a lot of them do it. A lot of them. Uh, when you're talking about, you know, spending, that break cost me $91.71. But like I said, I did get a couple decent pools. But at $91.71, and you're paying for first class package anyway. Just use a damn box. That's all I get. Just use a damn box. I know, guys. I'm sorry. I'm using profanity and I'm cussing and yelling, but I don't get people. I just I don't freaking get them. All right, guys. If you don't know how it goes, this is the good stuff. All right. And this can be good stuff too because the rookies, this is why I get I love this stuff so much too, is because these cards look mint, man. These cards are looking great. I mean, they're get some good rookies out of here that are gradable. This is definitely the stuff to do it. A lot of people are buying these megas and selling just these these uh rookie packs online for dirt cheap. So I mean, I've been buying up the loose uh autos for like four or five bucks offline of course it's not the big guys but it's still they were bowling they're bowling first while i'm buying them up i'll be look at these things man freaking gorgeous mint looking i mean the the quality on these things is outstanding shiny they're just so shiny Eric Scooball, Shane McClanahan, Bato, Cody B, and Glaber. I um, ran into another guy at Wally World this morning too, and he got like eight or ten megas too from a different Walmart. Not the guy that I split mine with, but Brian Hayes rookie. But he got his from a different one. And wouldn't you know it, he pulled the same freaking hit that I did. I'm reaching for it here. 
See, I pulled this one last week. Off camera, mind you. Like it was like one of like the ninth uh mega that I opened. It's 92 out of 99. This cat pulled number six out of 99. So we was tripping out on that one. Man. You got him from the Wally World right down the road. What are the odds on that, right? And I got that thing bagged up and everything ready to go to grading. Nice rookie cards, man. There's definitely gonna be some I'm gonna be sending out for that. I'll do a video up when I get them back in a year. <laughs> Taylor Trammell, Christian Javier. Reese Robert, Mookie Betts, Aaron Judge, and you Darvish. You Darvish. You. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's see where let's see where we're at now. Let's see the money. Oh, I seen some red. Uh oh. I got two breaks actually. Um. Another one was like a 10 case break. I had this cat in it. I got a nice auto of his. Here we go, Manuel Beltre. Oh, there we go. Uh oh. Daniel Montano. Number 50 out of 99. That's a hit. Ooh, wee. <laughs> Ooh, wee. That's a hit. That's a hit. Oh my goodness. 50 out of 99. I pulled a freaking um that other guy in Tampa Camp Tampa Bay dude. Wander Franco last week as well. Not the auto though, but it was the same car as that. And it was a like it was like a 50 out of 99. Victor Acosta and a Kevin May. Nice pack. <clears throat> oh, this pack's gotta be crap. All right. Not getting like but that I guess that was like the red I seen the tent on there. We don't call him Dentmers. Nick Gonzalez. Nick Gonzalez was coming up in the break like freaking crap, man. That stack that sucker was Nick Gonzalez. Nick Gonzalez. Nick Gonzalez. And then Milwaukee Brewers too. Oof. Blaze Jordan. Right. Woohoo. So one biggie. And some nice Bowman first on that one as well. Where's the next one? Boom. Guys, I wouldn't... I see uh breaks up for this stuff. The retail, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Just because... Especially these guys that are doing like 4 mega breaks. I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch them with a 10 foot pole, brother. No offense to them. But what they're doing... But I just don't think the value is there. Um, because the, the more expensive players, it's like, it's really four packs that you're really getting if you're winning the Bowman's first and all that, right? So it's like, even I wouldn't even do the break. If I was them, I mean, I wonder how much I have to check to see if they're even, they gotta be breaking even because the, uh, The top hitters, the Victor Acosta and the dude I just showed. I can't remember what his name is. Christian. <laughs> My mind, right? Uh, they're going for a lot of money. You know, and that Dodgers do too, Luis. Those cats are, are going for going for a good coin, so um, they probably are. I don't know. But your odds are it's playing a lotto, I guess, at that point. Because it's it's really eight pack you really trying to hit on. One's really 160 bucks. I mean, I wouldn't know. See, I don't know. I wouldn't do it. I would advise against it. Out of these packs right here, these base ones, 
people say, oh, well, it's just whatever filter. No, you're going to get a lot of value out of these. Because, like I'm telling you, look at these. These are really nice. This one's a little bit off, a hair off on the centering. But, I mean, other than that, it's really nice cards. And these are really good players. You can get a lot of them by doing it like this. And kick them to the side, you know. Jazz Chisholm. You're getting some of the top players in this year's rookie class on a freaking Bowman Chrome card and a possible big hit like the one I just pulled. So I like these things. Um, Walmart.com, I think, has them right now if you guys can't or don't want to get out to the store. I don't know what your area is like. But they've been on there for the last few days, shipped and sold by Walmart. $58 free shipping, $58 and like 38 cents. Shipped and sold by Walmart. That... I think you can go ahead and trust because it's shipped and sold by Walmart, but make sure it says shipped and sold by Walmart. But they're at 58 bucks in store to 39.99. So obviously you want to try to get them in the store, but if you can't or you just don't want to go out hunting, driving around looking for them, um, then yeah, 58 is not too bad when you're looking at hobby boxes right now at over what 330, 340 bucks, or maybe try a light. I think I'm gonna order a, maybe two light boxes. Just to get some of those black and whites on there and stuff like that. So, and then speckles. I think, three, I think you can get those at like 150 right now. Money. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. Oh, my distributor sent me in. Where are they? Sent me these the other day. Uh, Tops Chrome hobby boxes. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. I don't know if I'm going to put them on my eBay for sale straight up. Oh, I got a green. I'm not sure. And this guy right here, I don't think I had any of his. And this thing looks. This is why you get the Megas too, right here. Bowman first mojo. Spential Torkelson. I was going to say, don't tell me that's a freaking auto. Uh, it's not, but it is numbered 75 out of 99. And... Damn. Ooh. 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 And guys, I just, I did not like, oh, man. Damn. Man, that's how it was last week when I opened these 10 and I pulled that other guy. And the Wander Franco number to 50. It was the gold, whatever it was. I can't remember, but Manuel Rodriguez Bowman first as well. I'm going to sleeve this cat right here too. He's a pretty big hitter. Um, I can't say this is good stuff. Where's my where's my third one? I might keep going. I'm gonna open them all anyway. Now nah, we ain't gonna make it one video. <laughs> make it 13. It's like what 13 something minutes right now. We'll make this one uh do this third third one right here. Then uh the hitch keeps coming. I don't think I'm even gonna keep rolling. I was gonna watch some of the magic game because I looked at the score. A little bit ago and it was actually oh i didn't open the other pack <laughs> i was so impressed by the first pack with the torque i was just like oh, let's go on the other mega i got a whole other good pack right here i love it when it works out i'm expecting this pack should be a dead pack Jordan aguilar bowman first that's good uh i love all the bowman first i can get that's why i get these i want the bowman first i want the good parallels and we got a Robert Paulson after this. Austin Martin, this was the number to 50 that I got last week. I thought he was a first, but he's not. Okay. Carlos Camalera is first. Yes. Now, is it centered up? I wanted a really nice one of his to send the grading for the PC. There's some guys I do like the PC, and I do like the PC Bowman first. Wrong. The papers... I do throw some aside because you never know what's going to... I don't never know what the Chrome checklist is going to be like last year's Chrome checklist. And 
Oh yeah, last year the team in general was a mess, right? I do like to PC some Bowman first guys though. All right. I'll put a listing up on my eBay too for like all my like stuff that I'm not gonna be all my extra. Obviously, I'm opening like freaking a crap load of megas and. I did a bunch of breaks. I did a 10 case break. Like I said, I did another one with a 6 case break. So I am going to have a lot of extras. I will be putting them up on her. And all these cards will ship sleeve. If you order a decent amount of cards from it, it doesn't have to be just from this listing. From any listings I have. If it if it goes to where it's going to be first class, I have these, uh, what are they, 4x4x6 four by four by boxes that I use. If you ever bought any, I know some of you guys actually do buy your cards from me, lose cards from me, and I appreciate it. Um, if you order any good amount of cards, they will come in a box. Like, if it's just, like, a couple, like, any, anything under, like, 10 or 12, I just go do PWE. But especially if they're cheaper cards, low cost or whatever, um, because you got to keep your shipping costs down, man. But otherwise, nice rookie card pack right here. Jazz, look at these rookies, though. Alex Kirilov, Jazz, uh, uh, that's not Jazz, that's Sanchez, my bad. Tyler Steverson, Nate Pearson, that's Sam Huff. Five straight rooks. Looking like that. You know. So this guy told me that he said he's selling. The one of the other guy to hit the other Christian Hernandez. Said he's selling all these packs for two bucks a piece. I'm like hey. I'll take them. Well. Yeah I don't know. What, two bucks a piece. I'll talk them down. Buck fifty. Since he doesn't want them right Hey, since you don't want them, make your buck deal. Rookie, Joey Bart, and Tur Turk Screwball. That Screwball. Screwball. Sorry, guys, I need some water. <sighs> Been a long day. Jose Ramirez. I love Jose Ramirez. Go, Tribe, go. Go, Tribe, go. They did. Jesus. Jose Solder. Jose Ramirez. McClanahan. Otto. Bellinger. Glaber. And JD, Bryce, Springer, Schmidt, and a Bart. All right. Let's keep it rolling. <laughs> got a lot to live up to, Pack. Let's go. We got a pink. Is that a fuchsia? Is that right? I got it right. P Ryan right there. So that's already good. Oh, that's Walker. Not bad. Jordan Walker. Prospect. Number 46 out of 199. Eh. Eh. Not the first that we want, but not bad. We'll take it. Almost got him in a break. And Garrett Mitchell, this guy. Oh, my God. Ricky, you talk about that 10 caser. This guy was like freaking, it was like a Garrett Mitchell freaking marathon. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Okay, here we go. It's going to be a two hit mega. We'll see. Usually you get one. So I'm not expecting a second one out of this. Maybe we get a nice Bowman first. I'd like to get another 
the Christian Hernandez one. I did get one base one in the other video. Los Medina. Mick Abel. Oh, there's a Blaze Jordan again. Well, we want somebody to haunt you. Oh, freaking Victor Acosta. Hell yeah. And Sepetis. Yo. Hell yeah. Give up. Victor Acosta is also nice. That's another one down that I don't think I had. That's another nice one. So that wasn't a dead pack, I wouldn't say, when you get a Johnny P. Ryan and a Victor Acosta first. Now, overall, that's not a bad box. I did like some of the birth Bowmans I got. And we got the one, the Fuchsia, the 199. Uh, now, let me go ahead and I'll do, I'll show you guys what I got in the break. And I put in how much it actually like cost me and stuff like that. I'll show you one more time the two hits, two big hits. Torque 75 out of 99. And Montano 50 out of 99 auto. So there you go. Whoa. Now my philosophy, this was a this break right here for these cards was a uh what was I got it wrote down over here. Let's take a look. Uh this is what I this is what I bid for. Um well that's not take looks. I'm I'm right kind of a little bit, right? Show you what I got first and then I'll show you what I paid for that player. And look how he put those in there. Not much of a fan at all, but I'm too cool. Too nice a guy to throw anybody under the bus. I mean, his break was good. Okay, his break was good. I was like, okay. I, I don't break much. Like, I like Bowman Chrome, especially this year. Like, these prospects are off the chain. So I'm doing it for Bowman Chrome, and I'm always going to do it for Optic Football. That's it. That's all I do it for. I break for nothing else, right? <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> I get enough of it to target dot target punto com and Walmart punto com to not need to worry about it. But those two things, I like to get the hobby stuff. And you can't really. Eh, I can't get enough of it. Now, if I get a couple hobby boxes, I just want more of it. So, and that's the best way without you know mortgage in your life. Um, Here's the Alex Verdugo patch that I pulled out of it. Number six out of 50. I am going to put this up for sale. I love the card, though. It's gorgeous, but I can't keep everything right. And this card alone will pay for half the break. Uh, it's a $50 card. My cost on the whole break was $91.71. My price per card on the break was $2.03. Which is pretty good when you're talking about price per card on Bowman. Oh, so... All right, so that's fine. Um, you got it in a sleeve in there? Yes, he does. Okay. So that's good to go. Well, let's take a look at this stuff. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, well, it's the Hudson Kerstad bundle. Okay. This guy right here saved... Well, the other one really, the Verdugo really saved me money wise. And Kerstag was the other big one. A fuchsia number what? One is it? One eighty seven out of one ninety nine. Looks gorgeous right there too. Hopefully this guy can get healthy. That's my plan. This guy was going really cheap. In this break right here, let's look over here. How much did I pay? The Alex Verdugo, you see right here, it cost me $2.99 for the Alex Verdugo. That was it. I bid on him. But there he goes right there. Three right here at the top. Three hobby case and three HTA. My I got a, I won all of them for $91.71. My cost per card was $2.03. And I, I took the long shot because it was three HTAs and you know three hobby cases. So I figured 
299 299 Now these were like relic long shots for autographs. They didn't have like base autographs or anything like that. They really had the patch or an insert autograph and that was it. So that's why they were so cheap. People didn't want them because they were extreme long shots. I went ahead and took them and it paid off with the uh, Verdugo because that's a $50 card and you see right here adding all these up it was about $16, $17, dollars somewhere in that range so it paid off basically uh, it's a strategy that I used um, now the Heston Kerstad here see where I paid for that I paid $32 for Heston Kerstad and that was it um, my cost per card was $2.46 alright and let's go back and see what else. We got the Shimmer. The Fuchsia Shimmer. Then how many of his base autos did we get? What the hell? Oh, he put them all in one sleeve. Hot damn. There should be another Heston Kerstad card in here as well. What the frick? Don't tell me. Oh, man. One. Two. Forty man. Forty man. Another base. Another forty man. Bust the net sleeve out, man. I'm worried about the corners on that when you do that like that. First dad, another one, 40 man, another one, and 40 man. I don't really care for how he did it. I don't care for that at all. I would use individual sleeves for every freaking one of them. I know you're doing a break, it's a lot of cards, but these are freaking chrome. I would do it. Um, these are what, five 40 mans right there, and five more base ones. Also in that lot was the Josiah Gray prospect. I think that was a true gold. Number 50 out of 50. You can barely see it right there. Right there. So prospect Josiah Gold. Josiah Gray Gold. Let's see what we'll cross over in this one. I think the six case break, five case break would be my minimum. Five probably be my minimum any more that I'll do. Um, I'll keep an eye out for the tens, you know. A shimmer, curse tag. Um, here we go. Some more of those. Another base, another base. A couple of Drew Momos. Whole bunch of Drew Homos right here. This guy right here, you see, oh Drew, I paid six dollars and fifty cents for. Uh, we did hit one Drew Romo um, parallel right here, number three sixty one out three hundred nine, and I got nine base cards. Cost on Drew Romo was sixty five cents per card, so not bad right there either when you're talking about 65 cents per card on a prospects bowman chrome it's not too bad at all then we got our tribe guy jose ramirez and i took jose I paid four dollars and 25 cents for jose because you just never know i was like oh i gotta take him he's the indians jose is like the heart and soul of the indian team anymore you know what i mean he's like the best and only like really, really, really good hit. Well, no, they got some decent hit. Fran Mill Rays is really good. He's healthy as well. Um, but I was like, I got to take him. $4, I was like, I got Ramirez. I got that. We got a one-on-one -on -one comes up, I'll never forget that. <laughs> you know, one of the type of things. And then I didn't take him in the uh, second break I was in later in the week. And he got like three parallels come up. But I think he went for like... Because this was a six case break. In the 10 case, we went 
for like more money than I was willing to pay for Jose, you know what I mean? And I hate to say it, dude, you know, but it has got a price. <laughs> that was more than what I thought you were worth. Uh, there's the Drew Romo tractor. And that's the cursed dad refractor that was what 414 out of 499 right there and this is a rookie i like um so that's this is where i, I probably my numbers got skewed as well um because i was like you know what my goal on this guy i was like maybe i can hit some parallels out of him you know what i mean and uh let me see did i hit one Mm, I didn't hit one on this break. No, the other other one I did. Uh, I wanted to get some rookie cars on his. I like this guy. He's a hell of a ball player. Uh, Tyler Stevens. So I said, like, let me just load up on his rookies. This guy was like 26 bucks. Um, Was he? Damn, I paid that much? Yeah, 26 bucks. Uh, I was going for that parallel on this. I want the the parallels on him. I figured out of that much stuff, you know. And I, want the, I wanted his rookies. I wanted a lot. I wanted to find a lot of rookie, gradable rookie cards for this cat. Because he's very good. Very good. So, and we end up getting quite a few. A couple more. And my cost on him was like, that's where Tyler Stevenson there skewed my numbers a little bit. The cost per card went down on there on him. It was like $3.78 per card. I think I only had like seven of them. And I really honestly expected to get like 10 for the 26 bucks to bring it down to like two and a half bucks per card. It just didn't come at that kind of a full rate. Josiah Gray. Well, I pulled the 50 out of 50 true gold of him. And Josiah cost me $6.50. So, and I got the 50, 50 of 50 true gold. So, that was a win. All in all, I priced out this stuff. How much I paid. How much in cards I got. I definitely came out way ahead. Um... Which really on breaks, you're kind of just shooting for the moon, right? You want, you want to get that card that you really wouldn't buy. You know? Or that one on one that you can't find. Uh, there was another curse that I told you he really kind of saved my behind. Him and that Verdugo kind of saved my Verdugo. I would have done things a little bit differently. Now, this is what, 150 out of 250, the purple refractor? More just fine grays here. That's the rest of him. And the Jose Ramirez's. All Jose's. No. Another Heston. 40 for 40. I don't understand well, how he packed this stuff. And there was my last one. Heston Kerstad. Number 10 of 99. 40 Man Futures Auto. So definitely kind of a tough pull these insert autographs are definitely tough pulls i'll talk more about that when I, on the next break i do for these i'll go over uh maybe not the next break i do for these but because i don't know when the other ones are getting in because i just did the break a couple days ago so whenever the other cards get in from the 10 case break i do they'll be on the next bowman video not next Bowman, a future bowman video that i do and we'll go over that but uh right now it's man I definitely can't complain when these two guys really came up big. And I think both of these are about 50 bucks, give or take, you know. And with all the other ones I got from it, it was a success. So if you get in any guys, buy smart, check the checklist, make sure you know what's going in. If you take the mindset that I have, you say, you know, I'll take the, if nobody's been on because some of the people are, I bet was in other breaks. The other break I was in, people had the same mindset. They were just going to buy two, three, four bucks and buy all these ones up and hope they hit a shot. You know, they had to, so you, you got to be, you got to pick your timing right. You got to pick your spot on when you can do that kind of thing because you don't want to overpay for that kind of spot. All right. But you hit it. It's a good thing. Um, all right, guys. Um, I'm going to wrap this thing up. Uh, Bowman Chrome, how you hitting it? Hope you're hitting it hard, baby. Hit, hit it hard. Uh, bye for now. Have a good weekend and off to the next. Later, boys.